Hello and welcome back to Hongkai Star Rail and welcome back to my channel. So I thought we could continue with the main quest today and finally get our little asses out of Yorilo 6. Possibly. I think that's probably what's gonna happen. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? Smell of freedoms in the air. <laughs> I smell it too. <clears throat> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <laughs> This is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. Then when you're ready, let's go home. She's a really good leader. She just genuinely cares so much about everybody. Just pick that up. Finally, finally I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Does this thing have a good safety record? Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever, uh, uh anyway, none of them were serious. I am concerned. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> Time to take the kids out for some fresh air. Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling. Oh, bless your heart, Hook. <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. <clears throat> I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now... I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. <laughs> it's Japard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> The Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. <laughs> ha, didn't expect to get wrecked, huh? <laughs> you are excellent fighters. I'd love to have you provide training for the guards, but I know you have places to be. 
Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. I guess that's the difference between this and Genshin. In Genshin, we would have done the training for the gods, like with the, the archery quest for the Inazuma dudes, the soldiers. But I guess for this, we're just passing through. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Of course I have the time to attend. But first I'm going to check out this platform. Because I'm sure there's probably a chest here. Considering it's a new area, right? Or not. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> I haven't looked at the walls. Maybe they remove the um Come around posters. and have a look. Because I heard that there were posters. Like wanted posters of us, but I guess now that we're no longer wanted, <laughs> so to speak. Look, there's a crowd gathering over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm. <sighs> Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Uh, over there. It's probably a bench or something. Oh, it's Clara and Hook. Guards! Formation! Just turf those poor little girls out of their seat. There were like three other benches here. <laughs> Man, we really are dicks, aren't we? Whoa, this must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. She's a cutie. I love how she got a drink to match her outfit. Honestly, a queen, a slow queen. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. This is such an interesting contrast to how it would be in Genshin as well like we're just chilling on the outside like listening in a bit doing our own thing because we're kind of detached that feels kind of weird and on that note I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city most of you were not aware of their arrival but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope they made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget 
to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. I love Zila. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Bronya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Bronya! Lady Bronya! Long live Bellabog! She did a good job. There she is. No chests here. Don't look like it. <laughs> Branya, we're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Are you fully recovered? Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. It's what you do as a leader that matters. Hmm, I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. Allow me to explain. Which means, the Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. Stellarons are terrible things. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. The Astral Express will do everything within our power to help. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate this journey? Five. Two and a half. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? What will the next adventure be like? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. I love these two jokers. I love this whole, like, trio thing. It makes for way more, like, fun interactions with the quests compared to just having Paimon. <laughs> I love Paimon. I'm someone who doesn't hate Paimon, but this is really fun. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos. 
Huh, okay. Pana ornaments. Sure. Oh, okay. I don't... Are these just relics of a different type? Might as well. I'm quite excited to be able to start farming relics. Maybe I am one of those people as well. A relic farm lover. I can't help it. I love <laughs> RNG. <laughs> it's really, that's why I like these games. Well, I like these games because of how deep they are and interesting and fun. But also I'm a big fan of a good gacha. I can't deny it. Rania said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Mm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. What are they doing? Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Is she on a treadmill? <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I just wanted to listen to them first. Here we are! Everwinter Monument! Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here too! Let's make sure we get them in the background. Uh, good idea. Let's show them the photos once we're done. There we go. worried it'll melt? Not at all. It may look like ice, but it's actually a monument carved out of Geomero crystal. Ah, oh, Geomero! Oh, it's a shame Daddy isn't here. He'd find a buyer for it and sell it for big bucks. Uh, how do I explain? This particular piece of Geomero is definitely not for sale. Have a look, I took a photo of everyone. A photo? What's that? Hook wants to see it! I must remind you that taking photos of others without gaining their permission violates Bellabog Public Security Ordinance number... Wait, that's a nice picture! And it's crystal clear! Wow, photos are awesome! Uh, can Hook have it? <laughs> you like it? It's yours. A farewell gift from us. That's so cute. Okay, where to next? Oh, we haven't seen Sir Ball since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. I think I'm looking at her. What do you think? Anyway. <laughs> Let's go see actual Sir Ball. Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? Excuse you, Sir Ball. <laughs> It's you three! Come on in! I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Mr. Val's workshop is amazing! There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Val? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. <laughs> Let's take a photo together. Photo? This feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparog took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? Oh, no. <laughs> I'll be March for this. Oh. Oh, I'm not in the photo. Sure. Wow, 
Oh, that's pretty great. I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. She's very nice about it. <laughs> huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Oh, Clara, I feel you completely. Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. <laughs> Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? <sighs> I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. I mean, it's literally just a photo of her, though. Like, surely we should have taken, like, a selfie with all of us. <laughs> Feels kind of weird that she's like, I'll treasure this photo of me forever. Th thanks, Miss Serval. Big sister. March. Dan Hung. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarog. <sighs> That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. Alrighty. Back to the hotel we go. Come around and have a look. I hope it's, you know, a little less... Uh, arresty this time. Okay. In we go. He's gonna go straight to bed. I'm overwhelmed by a sea of weariness. Oh god. The engine of creation, Cocolia, an ethereal outer space, the gaze of the preservation. Your fragmented memory of the battle forms a blurry and surreal montage. In the midst of this frantic tapestry of events, you see the moment Cocolia perished with the Stellaron. A strange voice speaks to you in a hushed tone. But the voice passes rapidly. You try to recall what you saw in those fleeting moments, but find no trace. All of a sudden, you hear it again. A female voice in your ear. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Kafka? Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? <laughs> Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. Um. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> um. You don't have to answer that, but if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. 
That was we should be getting back to the express. Time to find March and Dunhung. That was kind of weird. Morning! How did you sleep? I'm full of energy myself. I dreamed about Sampo. You poor thing. <laughs> I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. There was just one thing that could be picked up. Okay, now I can. It'll be nice to meet some new characters wherever we're going next. Come around and have a look. Because we've not met Tingyun yet. And yeah, there's quite a few characters. Um Would I be better off teleporting? Yeah. There we go. Oh my god! <laughs> it's perfect! That's the... Whoever drew those... Iconic... Artiste. Here we are at last. <sighs> it's sad to say goodbye. Hmm. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey! I'm not that heartless, you know. Leave. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets? Parameters? You sure love your fancy words. Uh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look! Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. <laughs> Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. How would you rate my performance? <laughs> I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the Express. Urelo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home. 
Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. Weep universe is vast beyond- Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Didn't mean to click through that. I thought it was her generic opening line before we could do the whatever stuff. I'd like to talk about the battle with Lucolia. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. About the Path of Preservation. Klopath the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the Architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian and to take control of the Colossus. I was meant to thank you for your support during the battle. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. The source of Kokolia's power. Is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Can you really six go back to what it was like before the Stellarop? Well, maybe better equipped to answer that. But if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. What happened to the Stellaron? It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. Thanks for your patience, Himeko. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. Oh, and we can go ask Walt some questions, too. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. The Fragmentum and the Eternal Freeze, will they disappear? I'm afraid not. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. 
I don't think Bella Boggs fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity. The crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. I really do view the Stellaron's effects to Bronya. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. This mission would have been much easier if you were there. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himako was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. I like him very much. It's been nice chatting with you, Mr. Yang. Likewise. Get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Okay, let's chat with Pom Pom and prepare ourselves. Pom Pom, we're back! Shh! Checking Star Rail stability! Pom Pom needs to focus! Good to see you too! <laughs> Spatial readout! Back to the normal bracket! Star Rail stability keeps rising! 56%, 57%! The numbers have stabilized! Dispatch the Express! Oh! Welcome back to the Express! You've accomplished your Trailblaze mission! The Express appreciates your help! Uh, what is our next stop? The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Need to get some juice for March. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. There you go. Careful not to spill it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, conductor. Oops, I forgot to bring you souvenirs. Uh, don't worry about it. Your Rillo 6 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. I'll have to actually try and get something for Pom Pom in the next place. I wonder if you can. But don't forget next time! I'd rather die than disappoint you, Pom Pom. How's the Express doing? Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up, and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express! As for the coaches, Pom Pom's checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. When are we leaving, Conductor? Right away! To avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached cruising speed. Well, that's that. We have completed the Bellabog arc. I am going to leave it there for now because it is a wonderful place to start going to the new place on the train. So, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I look forward to the next part of the quest because this is so much fun. I will see you next time. Bye!